Merry Christmas and Happy Newton's Day. While I was sitting here enjoying a nice cup of eggnog next to a warm fire, I thought I'd take the time to tell you about one of my favorite Christmas characters, the one whose divine powers bring joy to children around the world. I'm speaking, of course, of Rudolph and his bioluminescent nose. Now, you've all heard the story of how a brave young buck overcame a significant birth defect to guide Santa's sleigh to safety. You may even know the story of how he defeated Santa's evil counterpart, Krampus, and squashed an elf uprising. But did you ever stop to consider how Rudolph's unnatural magical abilities interact with our known and understood laws of physics? I thought not. It's a well-known fact that in order for Santa to visit the entire planet, the reindeer have to travel at close to the speed of light. Even skipping, as Santa does, the houses of certain non-Christians and poor people, there are still a lot of houses to visit. Did you know that at these speeds, the color of Rudolph's nose would appear different to different people? It's called the relativistic Doppler effect and has to do with a theory Einstein formulated over a hundred years ago this theory of special relativity. One of the founding premises of this theory of relativity is that the speed of light in any reference frame is always the same, roughly 300,000 kilometers per second. This means that no matter how fast Rudolph is moving towards or away from you, the light emitted from his schnoz will always hit you traveling at 300,000 kilometers per second. As the reindeer moves towards us, the light he emits is blue shifted. You may know that light is made up of tiny particles called photons. They travel through space at the speed of light. The energies of these photons can be described in terms of their wavelength. This is the distance in space between the maximum in the wave's amplitude. When Rudolph is speeding towards us, those peaks appear, at least to us, to be squished together, meaning the wavelength is shorter. Now, since the color of light is completely dependent on the wavelength and nothing else, this means that the color changes. It gets pushed from red towards the blue end of the spectrum, thus called blue shifted. Similarly, when the nose is moving away from us, the wavelength gets stretched out and the color goes from a nice cheery red into the infrared portion of the spectrum, eventually becoming invisible. This is called red shifting due to the direction the color is shifting from blue to red. It turns out, in order to accurately calculate what color Rudolph's nose turns, you need to take into account several effects. What we've just discussed is the stretching or shrinking of the wavelength due to the physical displacement of the reindeer. However, there's a more subtle effect that Einstein discovered called time dilation, where time actually slows down for quickly moving objects. This also affects the wavelength of nasally emitted photons. Other photons as well, really. We won't go into detail here, but feel free to look up anything on time dilation or the twin paradox on your own. Still, the science thing's not over yet. You may have realized that, being a naughty child, Rudolph passes you by. In that case, he's never actually headed straight at you or away from you. Instead, he's heading at some angle relative to his direction of travel. If you're feeling really keen, you can actually derive an equation using the physics of special relativity, or Wikipedia, and get a formula for the relativistic Doppler effect. The math is a bit long, but it can be done, and it spits out the slightly intimidating equation. Here's where we're going to leave math's company. Well, this equation tells us everything that we need to know about the Doppler shift. If you haven't spent years learning to use math as a tool, it doesn't really give you any physical intuition for what's happening. Luckily, that's why I'm here. While I was coding a video game based on special relativity, I realized that one of the special effects could be quickly co-opted to demonstrate this Christmas phenomenon. Hopefully, it will be available for download and you can play along with it. As you can see, here's Rudolph. The smug little buck is about to fly to the left. His nose is glowing a cheery 620 nanometers, or as it's more commonly called, red. At the moment, he is not moving, so no matter what angle someone is looking from, his nose glows the same color. Let's change that. Crank his speed up to 5% the speed of light. Now, to someone standing in front of him, the nose appears yellow, because the photons have been shifted along the spectrum a little ways towards blue, while people standing behind him still see a red glow, though it's been shifted slightly closer to the infrared. The effect isn't very noticeable yet. Let's crank Rudolph's speed up again. 
this time to around 15%. Now people directly in front of him see more of a blue color, while those behind are only glimpsing a faint red as the light becomes nearly invisible to the human, human eye. Interestingly enough, certain other species out there, like snakes, will still be able to see this color clearly. Notice that at different angles, the colors smoothly transition through the visible spectrum of the rainbow. So someone standing below Rudolph at about 45 degrees from his direction of travel would see him as Rudolph the yellow-nosed reindeer instead. Once again, physics has ruined a perfectly good alliteration. Enough talk, more speed. Santa's got places to be. 30% the speed of light. Rudolph's nose is now a violet beacon in the night to those in front of him, while nothing but infrared radiation escapes behind. 50%! Rudolph is now shooting UV radiation forward, lethal to any vampires who cross his path, but a welcome boon to any sunbathers losing their tans in these northern latitudes. Notice other effects of special relativity are beginning to manifest. Rudolph's speed is so great, his length is contracting from the perspective of those on the ground. This effect is called Lorentz contraction. As his speed climbs ever higher, it becomes more and more difficult to accelerate. The visible portion of the spectrum is squeezed into a narrow ring in front of him, while the radiation emitted in front of him is more and more ultraviolet. Time, from Rudolph's perspective, has slowed to a crawl at 99.99% the speed of light. A single second in Rudolph's time takes over a minute for those of us at rest. He is now the closest any creature has ever come to answering Einstein's question, what is it like to travel on a beam of light? Anyway, uh, happy holidays. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to comment, share, and subscribe. I'd love to hear what you think of my little reindeer simulator. Uh, and as always, when in doubt, use science.